go down to the Amplified Version. Prophets Kelly, begin reading. Where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God. Hold it right there. Where there, in other words, see, see, I know y'all thought Ayana <laughs> Van Zandt yes. came with that first. Thanks. She was, had y'all watching Oprah <laughs> saying, save yourself. Yes. Save yourself. She was really just quoting mm -hmm. Proverbs 29, 18, mm -hmm. that you've got to save yourself. You've got to do the work within yourself. Where there is no vision, no redemptive revelation of God, you've got to redeem yourself yes. of you. Where there is no redemptive revelation of God, every day I go through a redemptive revelation process and I start visualizing and renaming myself. When I rename myself, I rename my situation. Mm. Prophet Thompson, what you want to say? Because something caused you to groan. Because mm. <laughs> you know, Master Prophet, when you rename yourself, you reclaim yourself. You now heal yourself from the lame state to an awakened state. Not only do you bring yourself to an awakened state, but the renaming also gives you a different nature. For we all hold the nature of the things we are named as. And, um, and so renaming yourself, revisioning, renaming, you know, it blesses me as I remember the thought of renaming. Our prophet Ralph Boyce oftentimes testified that when he came to see you and he was in Las Vegas and he heard the message, he start renaming some stuff. And by the time you got back to Canada, the stuff had done change for him. Wow. 212-316-2177. Let me tell you something. Until you pick yourself up, you will always stay down. Ooh. Amen. Until you what? Pick, pick, pick yourself, yourself up. You'll always stay, stay down. 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 Okay, let's go into something else. Yeah, because you know, Prophet Thompson, that, that naming process is really like the art of nomenclature. Mm. And if you don't name yourself, the world will name you. And if they name you, they're going to lame you because you are not in their best interest. Yes. My goodness. Yes. 212 316 Okay. Now, creative now, 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 I want to talk to you about the difference between imagination and visualization. Is it okay that I show you the difference? Yes. Yes. Visualization is something that you already see existing. You may have done that before or experienced that before or seen someone else doing that before. That's visualization. So you can visualize it. You can say, well, I like that. I borrow that because I've seen that. I mean, you know what? That's a black suit. I like that. Let me feel that. I'm going to visualize that for me. But then there is creative imagination. And creative imagination means it does not exist yet. One already exists, but it not, might not be within your grasp. The other one you got to create. Um, told Jonathan there's somebody saying I have a problem and this is a problem this is a big problem 
because it's a problem when a person can't sow their seed, baby. They said, I want to get a prophecy online, but my card expiration date is 2013, and the highest it goes on the website is 2010. What do I do? Yaroslav, what country are you calling from? Where are you located right now? Because you could just call 212, 316-2177, and we will work it out. I think that can be worked out. You mean tell me we can't take credit cards up to 2013? Did one of our techs couldn't think that far in advance? I will be on the line with the company in the moment. 212. 316. Two one seven seven. Mine, your grace. Mine is um, my credit card go up to two thousand fourteen, and it takes it all the time. Well, we're gonna find out why Yaroslav is not taking it. Mm. That might be on the one site you want, but he might be at zoeministries.com. Two one two three one six two one seven seven. Call the number and they'll get it to go through. Now, transformation imagination. There's creative imagination and transformation imagination. Transformation is remodeling what already exists in some form. So imagination cannot visualize in the presence of reason. You can't, your imagination won't work when reason is in play. Everybody say to me right now, imagination won't work. Imagination won't work. When reason is in play. When reason is in play. 212-316-2177. So, do you want to know a master key about visualization? Yes, I yes. That will get it working much quicker for you? And um, talk to Israel, why is it important to use master keys? Your grace, master keys give you master access for a greater success. Wow, Prophet Thompson. And that access for greater success will lead you to much long-term progress because it opens the door that none can close, and that's how the blessing flows. Okay, so imagination cannot work or tr imagination cannot visualize in the presence of reason. Mm. So, you cannot see your reason your reasoning cannot imagine, and your imagination cannot reason. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Two antecedents. Two antecedents. Two antecedents. Yeah. Next contradiction. <laughs> your imagination cannot reason, and your reason cannot imagine. That's why you got to enter into the theater of your mind and start moving upon the stage of your imagination. Whoo, Shade Sota. My goodness, some of y'all are going to get this by Christmas. <laughs> it will dawn on you when Santa come down your chimney. <laughs> <laughs> 